you're known for your role on The Wire. So tell me, how was it meeting Michael K. Williams um, in that club? Tell uh, me what you were going through before. Uh, before I met Kat, uh, Michael K. Williams, I was I was hustling, you know, doing what I do. And what when he approached me, he was like, "I don't want to offend you, or you a guy or 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 a girl." And I was like, I'm a girl, and nigga, I don't swing, swing that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was like, nah, 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 nah. I just want to bring you on set, you know, to the writers and producers. Maybe they probably have a role or something for you. He didn't know. You know he just be an extra. Like, I love your swag because he seen me around the club just, you know, do, do, doing what I do or whatever. But I thought he was on some bullshit because how she, he was looking at me. You know, he got the scar and all that. So, you know, he looking like a grimy nigga. I, like I said, I wasn't watching a while. I heard they were shooting it or whatever around the city, but I never knew who he was. I ain't paid that no mind or whatever. And my, my, my cousin was with me. He was like, nah, that's Omar the Wire. And I was like, oh, all right, wow. All right, that's what's up. But he told me come to the set the set was uh, what, um, like three blocks from my grandmother's house, and I went up there and sat down with the writers and producers, and they just kept saying, um, "Say this, say that." And they they was loving how I talk, my my voice or whatever. So I was like, "Man, I don't know what these white people want, man. I'm out of here." <laughs> so I left. They called me. It was like, uh, what, the, what they say, uh, yeah, we got this scene, I want you to stand in. So I'm telling people like, yo, I'm ready to probably be on TV. And they was like, nah, you gonna be an extra. Nah, I was like, yeah, you right. Extras get $100, $50, man, nigga. I'll make that in two minutes, I'm tripping. So um, I sat there for a minute and the white people came to me like, we see that you're not really interested in this. And I was like, yeah, can I get a speaking line or something? And he was like, nah, 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 we writing you in. We didn't even have a part, but we see how we ready really fit you in. Just bear with us. And David Simon and Ed Burns, they came to me and they was like, whatever you're doing in the streets, leave it alone. We, may, we ready to make you a star. And I was I ain't believe him at first. But when they kept calling me, and they was like, listen, we know what you, man, put everything away. And I just gave everything away, except for my money. I kept my money. Kept my money. <laughs> and, you know, here I am. That was the last time I ever sold drugs, you know? So, with the Wire success, mm -hmm. it, they didn't get, like, a lot of widespread um, recognitions or, like, Awards. awards and stuff like that. How did that like make you feel, make the cast feel? Uh, um, me, because it was my first time or whatever. So I didn't know, I still thought, you know, and still think and believe that our series was the best, like tremendous, like, you know, like we had beef with, not beef, but you know, we was in competition with Sopranos. You know, I'm like, wow, you know, like things like that. So I knew we was something to rec be reckoned with, you know, because the Sopranos, they was good, but we was better, you know. But, you know, they get, they get reckoned. We got recognition. I mean, you, you certainly gained recognition in your hood, though. I already had that. Yeah? yeah? So you were like a boss, pretty much. Before TV. So what else do you have lined up in, uh, in the future for, for yourself? Um, actually, well, I ain't gonna say that yet. <laughs> what, what movie I'm ready to fly for? <laughs> but I'm not gonna say that yet. But, um, I got a lot of things. God willing, you know, God is on my side. That's all I got. That's all I got. Who, um, are, is there anyone that you want to work with uh, that you haven't worked with already? I want to work with, um, Uncle Denzel. I want to work with Denzel. And, um, there's a lot of people, but I really want to work with Denzel, Will Smith, um, Taraji. <laughs> How'd you feel about her Golden Globe win? I love it. You go, bitch. Side screen. Yeah. <laughs> I get excited like I know her. You know what I'm saying? But nah, I love Taraji. I love her energy, like just everything about her. Like, you know, I just, I just love her.
She went. She went to school in D.C. So I mean, it's yeah, nothing. I, I right went to school. Corner. Yeah, I went to school in um, Maryland, mm -hmm. School of Arts. After I got on the wire, then I came to New York. That's why I had to go to New York. Yeah. So let's just say, pick between the two. It has to be just one, though. Um, would you Would you want to be on Power or Empire? Power and don't kill me off, Fifty. I see how you did Jamie Hector, don't kill me off. I mean, at least give me five episodes, man. Let me come through on that, man. You can bring something different than what you brought to the wire? Yes, yes, yes. My presence period on the screen is just, whoo, you get excited. I mean, I was incognito on a Chirac joint. And people was like, oh my gosh, dude. I was like, yes, yo. I mean, just my presence, it just get people excited. It get me excited. Have you reached out to him? or? Oh, uh, 50. I'm reaching out now, 50. <laughs> you know? Jack Thriller got my number, man. Call me. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love, man. I, I, I love power, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if it's something, it's something best to, um, to the wire. I mean, you know, the wire was that, but you know, power is, is like, it's just, what's this, the second season? You know, it, it gets bigger as the seasons goes on, goes on. So, yeah. you know, he got a little, he got a little, little time with it. Yeah. yeah. You think it's more raw? Yes. All the way. Yeah. All the way. It could get raw. Yeah, but, oh, if that's be, a word. It'll but. be funny. <laughs> it'll, it's kind of funny because, you know, you went up against, well, you auditioned for the, uh, she yeah. played Little Kim in yeah, yeah, yeah. And I auditioned for, um, for um, Empire. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm. yeah. What did you um, audition for? Uh, what's that? Um, uh, damn, they changed their name. So the little, little, um, the little black one that yeah. just came on it. Gats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The yeah, the little rapper. Oh, okay, okay. But I was, I was shooting um, Chirac at the time, so they said it was going to be a, um, a conflict. Wait, so. so they were interested, you were, they were interested in you to play Gats? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and then it's just conflict with Chirac? Chirac, yeah. Okay, okay. But I mean, I said that it happens for a reason, because I'm probably going to get power. What's up, 50? Hey, you got my sis Lala in there, I say, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> How did you feel about Lala going topless? Um, I was one of the first ones that seen it because she was nervous out of her mind. I'm like, sis, I don't, I'm don't. i not looking at you like that or nothing like that, but you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> you had nothing to worry about. You good, man, you good. Oh, you gave her like personal advice? You yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, and what did you say to her? You just was just like, just do it and. No, 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 no. After the fact, I seen it. She already had shot it or whatever. And then when it was ready to come out, I seen it before, like, well, say the world seen it. And she was like, sis, what you think about this? I'm like, man, you good. Chill, chill. That's saying good. I mean, she did a good job. Yeah. You know, because it's her first time. And then you, you get nervous when. You know, you got to take your clothes off, and then she's married, try to kiss another man and all that. Yeah. That ain't, you know what I mean? She, yeah, she yeah, love my brother Mello. Leo froze it, man, you know? We can't, we can't, we can't do it right now. Right, because this was the, the Migo Stuggin project, right? Yeah, that was going to be a big project too, but Leo, you know, blocked the play. Michael K. Williams told me he was like, "If you want, if you want to make it in this industry, you have to switch it up, because you just want to be typecast. What you just playing all gangster movies? 